again heartily welcome on the third session of marginal costing already we have discussed in the last two videos of marginal costing theoretical part important formulas and two practical examples in this video we will discuss more two examples on marginal costing so we will discuss some detailed examples in this video so see the example number 3 abc limited provides the following information per unit selling price rupees 25 per unit variable cost rupees 15 trade discount 10% total fixed overhead rupees 75000 from the above information find out first break even point in units and in rupees expected sales to earn profit of rupees 15000 expected sales when loss is rupees 15000 new break even point when selling price is increased by 20% and ignore trade discount new break even point when fixed expenses is increased by 20% and last expected sales to earn profit of rupees 75000 and also margin of safety now first we can make required calculation see in this example trade discount is given so trade discount we have to reduce from the selling price so first we will calculate selling price selling price given in the example rupees 25 less trade discount 10% it is 2.5 so the new selling price or net selling price is rupees 22.5 now we will give the answers one by one first break even point first we will calculate again in the units so formula for bep in the units is equal to total fixed cost divided by s minus v so here total fixed cost 75000 less 22.5 minus variable expense 15 so we will get bep 10000 units see here we will consider net selling price it means after trade discount now we will calculate bp in the rupees so already bp in the units we have calculated so this bp multiply with per unit selling price so bp in the rupees is equal to 10000 multiply 22.5 so bp rupees 2 lakh 25000 second expected sales to earn profit of rupees 15000 so whenever we want to calculate profit or expected sales we will use the formula for the expected sales to make profit is equal to f plus p divided by s minus v so here profit is given so we will calculate sales so fixed expense 75000 plus 15000 profit divided by 22.5 minus 15 so the expected sales is 12000 units next expected sales to earn loss rupees 15000 here the loss is given so we will use formula f minus l divided by s minus v So again, fixed expenses seventy-five thousand minus loss fifteen thousand divided by twenty-two point five minus fifteen. So the answer is eight thousand units. Next, new break-even point when selling price is increased by twenty percent, and the instruction is given: ignore trade discount. So directly. we can use the new selling price with 20% more so present selling price 
plus 20 percent it is 5 total new selling price it is 30 so BP in the units is equal to total fixed cost divided by S minus V fixed expense remains same 75,000 divided by new selling price 30 minus variable expense remains same with 15 so we will get break even point 5000 units next new break even point when fixed expenses is increased by 20% so first we will calculate new fixed expense present fixed expense 75000 plus increase 15000 so new fixed expense 90000 now BEP is equal to F divided by S minus V. So 90,000 divided by 22.5 minus 15. So BEP in the units 12,000. See here again we will use the our original selling price after trade discount. It is 22.5. Next expected sales to make profit of rupees 75,000 and also margin of safety so first we will calculate expected sales to make profit is equal to F plus P divided by S minus V so fixed expenses 75,000 plus profit also 75,000 divided by 22.5 minus 15 so expected sales 20,000 units now we will calculate margin of safety so margin of safety is equal to actual sales minus sales at BEP actual sales 20,000 minus BEP 10,000 so margin of safety 10,000 units here we have calculated margin of safety in the units you can calculate with percentage also or with the rupees also now next example number 4 KK company provides the following information here 2 years information is available 2019 and 2020 sales and profit sales for the 2019 1 lakh 50 thousand for the 2020 1 lakh 80 thousand profit for the first year 15 thousand and for the second year 21 thousand from the above information, first profit volume ratio, second fixed expenses, third break even point, fourth expected profit when sale is rupees 135,000, expected profit when sale is rupees 60,000, expected sales to earn profit of rupees 20,000. So, see in this example more than one year's information is available regarding sales and profit so we can calculate always pbr first then we have to calculate fixed expenses then and then we are able to give the other answers so always in this type of example first we will calculate profit volume ratio and again we have to use the formula for pbr is change in profit divide by change in sales multiply 100 so pbr is equal to change in profit divide by change in sales multiply 100 see here the two profit and two sales so profit is 15000 and 21000 so the difference is 6000 sales is 150000 for the first year second year it is 180000 so difference is 30000 so we can calculate PVR 6000 divided by 30,000 multiply 100 20 percent. Second always we have to calculate fixed expenses. So F is equal to S multiply PVR minus profit. Here in this example two cells are available. We can use any one. The condition is there if we can use the cells of first year we have to consider profit also from the first year if 
we can use sales from the second year so we have to consider profit also from the second year here we will use the sales from the first year so sales 1 lakh 50000 multiply pbr 20% and profit of the first year it is 15000 so fixed expenses rupees 15000 now we can calculate break even point so bp is equal to total fixed cost divide by pbr fixed expenses 15000 pbr 20% so bp rupees 75000 with the pbr we can calculate bp only in the rupees next expected profit when sale is rupees 135000 here the sales is given and we have to calculate the profit so the formula for the expected profit is expected sales is equal to f plus p divided by pbr so here sales is given 135000 is equal to 15000 plus p divided by pbr 20% so you transfer 20% on the debit side so 135000 multiply 20% is equal to 15000 plus p so profit is equal to rupees 12000 next expected profit when sell is rupees 60000 again here sales is given so we will calculate profit so expected sales is equal to f plus p divided by pbr sales 60000 is equal to 15000 plus p divided by pbr 20% so 60000 multiply 20% is equal to 15000 plus p so 12000 minus 15000 is equal to p so here we will get minus 3000 so we can say the loss is equal to rupees 3000 then expected sales to earn profit of rupees 20000 here profit is given so we have to calculate the sales so the formula is same expected sales is equal to f plus p divided by pbr so fixed expense is 15000 plus 20000 profit divided by 20% so 35000 divided by 20% so expected sales rupees 175000 so see in this example when profit is given we can calculate expected sales when sales is given we can calculate expected profit so in the next video again we will see some more examples regarding marginal costing techniques so take care and thank you very much